We are back with a story new at 11. A terminally ill Norfolk woman had her car stolen last week. But what was in the car is causing more pain. Ten of your side's Jason Marks is here now to explain. Jason? Nicole, you can say in this case the woman had two sets of wheels stolen. One was the car. The other was what she calls her last bit of freedom. I feel like I lost my independence. These days, independence doesn't come easy for Norfolk's Valerie Furby. I just accept it. Ain't nothing I could do. Furby's life has been reduced to oxygen lines. Want a little bit of tuna fish up there? And round the clock hair. Pulmonary hypertension has destroyed her lungs. Doctors told her at this point she's too weak to have a transplant. No. There's nothing that can be done. Only treat me until. Only treat until the end. That's why, you know, I try to get out as much as I can. Saturday morning, Furby woke up to a knock on the door at her Chrysler Lane home. Her car had been stolen. That was just one more bad thing that happened. The car was recovered by Virginia Beach Police Monday. They damaged my car. You know, they trashed it. Even worse, her independence was in the back seat, and that hasn't been found. I was like, are you kidding me? Not kidding at all. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it took her scooter. The thieves left the seat, but took the medical scooter Furby uses to leave her home. Independence she bought with her own money. We go to the grocery store. She goes her way. I go my way. And she will meet up, she'll throw it in the cart, we'll move again. You know, with my disease and, and, and with um, not a good prognosis, uh, it just makes it worse. For now, Furby will stay trapped until she can once again recover her independence. That's my only way of getting around. Furby says she bought the scooter just three months ago. She was so excited to have it. It really is much more than freedom to her. It serves as a way to lift her spirits, a spirit that obviously is pretty low right now. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Norfolk police say there has been an arrest in Furby's stolen car, but they didn't tell us who they picked up. We're told several cars were taken the same night hers was stolen.